guys welcome back so welcome to the episode number eight of spring core framework tutorial series so today we'll be talking about spring annotations well you already know a little bit of spring annotations and we are kind of using the spring annotations for the last two videos but here in this video we'll be talking pretty much about spring annotations okay and i'll be covering a whole lot of different annotations which is available in spring framework and particularly which is belong to the spring core framework okay so the intention of this particular video is to make you familiar with the spring core annotations and also i'm going to eliminate the spring xml file completely and we'll be only writing code in java so this and another bonus that you are going to get with this video so we'll be doing a whole lot of things today and it's going to be pretty simple because you already know a whole lot of things about spring framework and uh, you already know about dependency injection auto wearing and all the stuff right so, so before you proceed with this video i'll definitely recommend you to watch the earlier videos of my series so that that will give you a kind of good fundamental on spring uh, framework spring ioc and all this stuff right and after that this particular video will be pretty simple for you right so, okay but if you are already following my tutorial then don't worry this particular video is going to be very much simple for you but again it's going to be a lengthy video because i'm not getting pretty much time for myself to shoot videos uh, uh, but i'm on a vacation right now i got pretty much of time so let's have a lengthy video but whenever you are you are feeling okay it's too much of information for me then pause the video take some rest come back to the video again and go with the video right who is stopping you to learn okay so let's get started and let's go with the video okay, so right now i hope you guys can see my screen here and um, here i have just created a very simple project called spring uh, common annotations and um, I have created a very simple package as well called com.celeriumexpress.college and uh, we want to go back to our college days today so I'm going to create a class called college right so let's create a class here called college okay all right and let me hit finish here so right now I got a very simple class called college here okay so now tell me one thing okay so as of now we are just uh, you know dealing with our configuration file uh, when i say configuration file is exactly this files right bins.xml file okay so this is a particular xml file that i have uh, copied from my previous projects and uh, from my earlier tutorials always we follow this approach to configure any bins so whenever we want to do any type of configuration like uh, dependency injection like bin creation like uh, uh, you know activating any kind of annotations tag or whatever right we are configuring everything over here inside this bin.xml file right so uh, today i want to give you a task okay first of all okay so right now let's say i have a class here called college okay let me maximize this um, class here okay so right now i have this class right uh, class college okay so right now i'll just give you a task that hey you create a bean for this okay i want to configure this college class uh, in the uh, bins.xml file so if i'll tell you to create the bean for this particular college class it's pretty simple right what you're going to do uh, i'm going to copy the qualified name and here you can simply create a bean by using the bean tag here okay and here first of all you want to give uh, give an id name here and you are going to provide uh, let's say uh, college bean as the id and after that you are going to give uh, the class right the class here and you're going to control v here so here i'm just basically pasting uh, you know my qualified name here and this is how we used to configure the bean earlier isn't it okay so we know that right whenever we are to configure the bean we're going to come back to our bin.xml file and over here we are going to create the bean by using this way so this particular line of code uh, tells spring that hey i want to create the object for this particular class called college right so this is the class and for this particular class i want to create the object and i want to give it an id called college bean so just like uh, so spring will create an object like college college bean equal to new college and once it's create the object it is going to register that particular object inside the application context or 
what, what, what we say our IOC container, right? So inside the container, so once uh, Spring is going to create the bean, it is going to register that particular bean or it is going to you know, register that particular object or we can say it's going to put that particular object inside the uh, IOC container, right? So once this particular object got present inside the IOC container, we can just say, okay, get bean, get bean method, and we can pass this particular ID uh, called college bean, and we can uh, get back our object, right? And once we get the object, we can do a whole lot of stuff, right, with that particular object. Okay, this is a pretty simple thing. But what if I'm going to tell you, okay, right now, uh, this is a way to create a bean. This is a way to configure a bean. But I don't want to configure a bean just like this. I'm going to remove it from here. So the way I want to configure, I don't want to use the XML file over here. Rather, I want to configure the bean here inside the Java site. So you got the requirement. I don't want to configure the bean inside the bean.xml file just like this. Rather, I want to configure the bean inside the college.java uh, in this particular file, right? In, inside the class only, I mean, here in this class only, I want to configure the bean. So how can I do it? Okay, so if I want to configure the same thing, this thing over here inside this particular class, what I can do is I can simply write an annotation called at component, right? Remember this particular annotation is called at component, right? So this at component annotation basically does the same thing as this right so this thing does what this thing creates the object for us and going to register that particular object with the ioc container and if i'm going to remove this this particular annotation is exactly going to do the same work as that okay so whenever spring find any classes got an annotation called at component that means spring thought that okay that means this is a component for this particular class i want to create the object right this is actually a bean i want to create the object for this particular class and once i create the object i am going to where where spring is going to store that object inside the ioc container only right inside the application context so once spring create the object for this college class this is going to put that particular object inside the application context pretty simple right so this particular component annotation does the same work as this okay right now definitely you will get a question okay so avilash so here we are uh, putting our class name inside the bin tag that's fine right now we are putting the add component annotation before the before our class that's fine but here we used to give a id for our particular bean right so here we're not providing any id right inside here in the component we are not providing any ideas so what's going to be the id name of that particular bean and that's a right question that's a valid question so what i'm going to do right now so this is this is the id right so i'm going to copy this id so if you want to provide an id to this particular bean right so, so to this particular class right i i put this add component annotation so right now this is going to be a bean for us spring is going to create the object for this particular class and the way i can give the id over here is just like this right so right now here for this particular class called college spring is going to create the object for this particular class called college and the the name of that particular object the name of that particular bean is going to be college bean so it's going to do the same thing right uh, college college bean equal to new college right and once that object got created obviously that object is going to be stared inside the application context or inside the container and we can do our get bean method and can get the bean for this particular call is right and we can do our business logic business operation whatever we want right okay so right now let's let's clear the doubt right first of all what we are going to do we are going to test this whether this is working or not so particularly what i'm going to do, do right now i'm going to go to one of my old project here and i'm going to copy a simple client class and going to Put it over here so that i will not waste my time and waste your time as well your time is so precious isn't it <laughs> and obviously my time as well so what i'm going to do right now so over here you can see let me maximize this client class okay so here what i did i actually i'm actually creating my 
application context object so application context context equal to new class path application context provide your configuration file name so here in this case my configuration file name is bins.xml right so let's say bins.xml and let's put a simple debug line over here just to track whether our context object is getting created properly and after that we are going to get this particular line inside the console right so right now what i'm going to do once the uh, application context object got created we are going to say okay so my container object got created and from my container so context is my container i'm going to get the bean i'm going to pass the id of that particular bean so what is my bean id right now call as bean right so from here i already removed it right okay so let me remove it because i don't need it right now because that stuff my component annotation is going to do and this is my call as bean that means this is my id so i'm going to come back to my client class I'm going to provide my bean id and i'm going to say this is going to return me the college dot class i'm going to basically put the type of it and this is going to return me the college object right okay okay now if this thing is going to work fine okay why it is giving me an error okay that's gone okay so if this thing is going to work fine if i get back my college object that uh, then we can um, you know understand that this add component annotation work same as this okay okay so right now what i'm going to do i'm going to remove it come back to over here and we can actually have a simple uh, you know print a line over here uh, we can print something just to make sure that uh, our college uh, we can print our college object right so we can say uh, the college object created by spring h and i'm going to concatenate this college object pretty simple so right now if i'm going to get back my college object then i can make sure that okay this add component annotation is working as expected so right now let's go back to my client class and let me run this particular application and let me check what is going to happen and you can already see in the screen my bean.xml file loaded that means this particular file is getting loaded perfectly over here is 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 loaded then this particular line got printed now here we are having some problem right okay so what is the problem spring could you please tell me that okay so no such bean definition exception so what it is basically saying is that there is no such bean available called college bean what the heck i just told you right this this add component annotation is work same as you know that bean tag that we used to write in bean.xml file right but why it is not working why why we're getting an error just like this that you know, okay there is no such bean available just like college bean but here actually we are you know defining the add component annotation with with this particular bean id right college bean okay so here we have done a small mistake okay so what is that mistake so whenever so here spring is reading this particular bean.xml file and it is not finding anything right so it says okay so there is no such bean available over here like college bean right here here nothing is present so here we need to tell spring that hey spring we are not defining the bean over here but we are defining the bean somewhere else and where we are actually defining the bean we need to tell to spring so that a spring can go there and can scan for those particular beans whether it is available or not and once it is available it is going to create the bean for you and going to you know give that bean back whenever you need it right so how we can tell that thing to spring the way we can tell is we can use an uh, you know tag over here called um context colon component scan okay so here we are going to scan for our component so here we we are defining our component over here this particular class is a component right this is um this is you know this is a special uh, class that present which is going to be which is going to be instantiated by spring okay and to make that happen we can do one thing we can tell spring that hey spring this particular class college is present inside this particular package called com.selenium.express.college so what i can do over here 
I can come back to my bins.xml file and can define my base package over here. So in which package this particular college.java present inside this particular package, right? So let me do one thing. Let me write my package name com.seleniumexpress.college, right? That's done. And let me end the tag over here. There you go. So right now what will happen? Right now whenever, okay, let me maximize it again. Okay, so right now whenever Spring is going to read this beans.xml file, okay? At that time, what will happen? It is going to find that, okay, there is a component scan uh, available over here. So that means Spring is going to scan through this particular package called com.seleniumexpress.college and inside this particular package, whatever the class is available right now there is only two classes available but whatever the class is available inside this particular package called college here if spring is finding an annotation called add component spring is going to create the object for that and also it is going to register that particular object inside your ioc container so right now spring spring is going to come over here is find this particular package come over here is find this particular class having this particular annotation called add component so it is going to create the object for that and once it has created the object for that it is going to put that object inside the inside your container right So what is my container object context right let me maximize it okay this is your context context object so right now i can say inside this context object my bean is present right so right now i can say context that get bean so give me particular bean called college bean this particular bean right give me that particular bean and i'm pro providing the id i'm providing the college.class right now i'm getting back my bean storing it inside this particular college right now i'm, I'm just trying to print that particular object which spring has created right okay so now if i'm going ahead and running this particular application and there you go so you you are getting okay this is your college object right so college at the rate something right so this is the object right now spring is creating for you so here what we understand that right now spring is going to create the object by itself whenever it find this particular annotation before the class right called at component annotation right and here we're just providing is the bean id just like we used to do it in in xml case right just pretty similar to that simple looking good so you understand how the at component annotation work good right okay so right now we understand how the at component annotation works right so right now we're going to understand one more thing and this is pretty important okay and you are also looking for this particular thing right so what about i don't want to you know have this bin start xml file so right now this component scanning stuff right so this thing i am doing it from the xml end right from the xml only i'm defining the base package right but i don't want to do it from here i want to do it from the java end right so what if if i want to completely delete this particular file called beans.xml file. I'll just hit control delete. I'll just delete this particular file, right? So right now, I want to activate the component scanning from the Java end. And for that, what I need to do, right? That's the thing that we're going to learn right now. But before that, let me hit a control Z here just to get back my beans.xml file. Okay, so this particular file is what file? This is a configuration file, right? That means what kind of configuration that we are doing, we're defining all those configuration inside this bins.xml file. So this, this is what we are saying, a configuration file, right? So what? So if we are not using this bins.xml file, okay, if I'm deleting this particular file, and if I want to, you know, you know, you know do everything from the Java side, then first of all, I need to create a configuration 
class, right? Okay, so let's create a configuration class. So uh, I'll create a class called, let's say, college config. Let's say config here and let's say finish. Okay, so right now I have created a configuration file, isn't it? So how to make this particular class as a configuration class? We put the name here config and this became a configuration class, right? Just kidding. <laughs> so to make this particular class a configuration class, what we need to do, we need to use the annotation called at configuration, right? So I write config configuration. Okay, there you go. So this particular annotation called at configuration, this will tell Spring that, hey, this is a configuration class, right? So this particular annotation just going to direct Spring that, okay, this is a configuration class and okay and all those other stuff is going to be taken care by spring itself okay so right now this is a configuration class and from this particular class we need to define our component scanning right so why we need the component scanning i already told you right so we need to scan through all these components okay in this particular package we need to define our package in that particular package, whatever the classes has the com add component annotation, Spring is going to create the bean for that. And to do that inside this configuration class, I need to define my base package, right? Just as similar to our XML file. So base package, I don't want packages. Okay, okay. So this wanna be the base packages only because we can define multiple packages, but right now, we are going to define only one package, right? So what is our package name? Com dot selenium. Okay, let me maximize it again. Okay, selenium express dot college, right? So this is my best package. So right now, Spring is going to read this particular class. Previously, we used to read our XML file and we are defining our component scanning there. But right now we are going to make Spring to read this particular configuration file. And whenever Spring is going to read this particular file, it is going to scan through the base package, which is com.seleniumexpress.colis. And from this particular package, it is going to find whatever the class add component annotation, it is going to create the object for those particular classes. So to do that, I'll be coming back to my client.java application. Right now, if I'm going to run this particular class, um, what is going to happen? Obviously, I'll be getting an annotation. Uh, sorry, I'll be getting an exception. So if uh, I'll maximize this console window, the ex uh, the exception is pretty common, right? IO exception, right? Why we're getting an IO exception? Because right now we do not have this bin start XML file, right? So it's saying class path resource bin start XML file cannot be opened because it does not exist because we have deleted it, right? So right now, this class path XML application context is not going to work because we are not dealing with the XML, rather we are dealing with the Java classes, right? We are defining our configuration classes, not the configuration XML file, right? So what I'm going to do right now, rather using this, a new, new class path XML context, I'm going to delete this one right up to this i'm going to delete it and here right now i'm going to use a new uh, you know uh, class called uh, annotation config or something annotation let me check that out annotation config yep i think this is the one annotation config application context okay and over here i need to define my configuration class so which is my configuration class this one is my configuration class called college config.java let me come back over here and let me define the class over here college config dot class there we go okay so right now application context context equal to new annotation config application context weird name large name but that's fine right okay so right now uh, we are so right now we're actually defining our configuration class over here uh, you know in the line number 11 right so you know so application context and you know that this is an interface and xm class path xml application context annotation config application context these are the implementation classes which says their specific uses 
and you are just seeing it right now okay so obviously all the other things will be same so right now i don't need this uh, system that i would have been start xml file loaded let me remove it the line number 12 and there i go and after that from the context so what is going to happen uh, it is going to read this config class in the config class uh, we are just saying that okay do a component scan from the base package uh, this college package right now it is going to go to the college package and whatever the classes um, over here inside this college package with a at component annotation it is going to create the object for that and register that particular object inside the application context or inside the container so right now a college object got created inside the application context and uh, whenever i'm going to in the client of java whenever i'm going to ask for uh, that college object by providing the right bean id then it is going to give back my college object and actually i'm just logging that college object right over here so right now if i'm going to run this particular application be sure it is going to run as expected so right now you can see right call is at the rate some hexadecimal value you know uh, the hash code representation of hexadecimal value right uh sorry the hexadecimal representation of the hash code value i'm sorry <laughs> so you know right now now this is how the things work so right now we have completely removed our xml file and the way we did it by introducing a new configuration class over here right rather uh rather doing or rather creating a xml file as a configuration file very simple i hope you are looking good oh sorry i hope our code is looking good <laughs> okay so right now we learned about add component annotation add configuration annotation and add component scan annotation but right now this is a pretty uh, simple class pretty empty class we are not doing any kind of configuration over here but what if uh, let's say whenever we are actually dealing with our xml file right so we used to define our beans we need to we, we need to define our beans and everything inside the configuration uh, file only inside our xml file only we used to create different beans so how to create different beans over here okay so i told you one way to create bean is using the bean tag and another way and another way to create bean is by putting add component annotation right but what if if i want to do something else right i'll just Tell you that right now but before that let's say inside this college class let's say this particular things are working or not so to test it so what i'm going to do i'm going to define a public uh, void test method just to make sure that things are working fine and let's have a simple sys out here and let's say um testing this uh class method okay so right now let, let's call this test class and let's check it out everything work as usual and, or not right so let's go to our client class so right now let's say college object reference dot test method right if i'm going to run this everything works fine most probably yes testing this call call methods right so everything working fine right so what if right now i'm going to tell you that hey uh, you know what you don't need to use this add component annotation as well right do not create a bean by using the add component annotation so now you must be thinking that okay first you told me um, about you know the bean tag right uh, bean uh, element right then you told me don't use that now you told me add, compo add component annotation and add component scan right now you are saying hey don't use this as well okay so yeah so I, I basically told you about these two things. These are two different ways to create beans. So there is an, another way as well. So if I don't want to use add component annotation as well, if I'm going to remove it, okay, then also I can create bean. There is another way to create bean by using add bean annotation, right? We're going to talk about that. So right now, previously, if I, if I do a command Z, I'll get back my code changes. Okay, so this add component is a spring annotation, right? So if I do not want to use any kind of special annotation in my class and I want to, you know, create the bean, how can I do it, right? So in my college class, this is my class, okay? In this particular class, I do not have any special spring annotation, but 
I want to create the bean for it, right? And uh, just to make sure I do not have any uh, bean.xml file or any configuration XML file over here as well. I just have a configuration class here, right? And I want to define those beans inside this configuration class. Previously, we used to define beans inside the configuration XML file. Right now, we're going to define everything inside this config class. And let's check it out. Okay, so let's start creating our bean by using a at bean annotation, right? So I have already removed the at component annotation. That means Spring is not going to create the bean for us. And also, I do not have any, uh, you know, beans.xml file or any kind of configuration file over here inside this SRC so that there is no chance that Spring is going to create the bean for us. So, so right now, we are going to do, we are going to configure the bean by ourselves, right? So how to do that? There is another way to do it. So let's check this out. So right now, first of all, we need to go to our configuration class, right? So inside our config, config class, right, inside our college config class, we are going to define our bean, okay? So bean for what? Bean for what we need? We need our spring to create the bean for this college class, but not by the previous two approach, by a new approach by putting the add bean annotation. So before that, okay? So what what do you, what do you mean by bean? So we know that, right, well, you know, it's just going to create the object, right? Okay, for, for now, what class object we need? We need the college class object, right? So, we'll go to this config class. And in this config class, what we need, we're going to define a package here, public, uh, let's say. Uh, okay, so we need, a, we need to create a method which is going to return the college class object, right? So, let's come back over here. It is going to return the college class object. So, let's say college. And let's say uh, college bin. Okay, so let's say college bean is my method name. And here I want to give you an, another information that this college bean, right? This is what this is the method name, right? So the method name is going to be the bean name. So or the bean ID. So the college bean is actually the ID of this particular bean. Okay, okay, I'll be coming back to this particular point uh, later, right? So right now, here, this particular method is going to do what it is going to return me a college object. So I'm going to create the college object college college equal to new college. So we are going to talk about a lot of college stuff today. <laughs> so it is going to return the college object, right? Return college. Or we can do simply uh, in one line also we can do what new college. Okay, and we can remove this particular line, right? So this particular method does what? It is going to return the college class object. That's it. We just need a method. Right now, we want to create the bean for this. We want to create a method uh, which, is, which is going to expose our bean. So to expose our bean, I have created a method over here called college bean. And this particular method is going to return me the college object. That's it. Okay, so let's uh, stick to our previous approach. Um, you know, just I uh, want to do something kind of old fashioned stuff. Okay. Uh, <laughs> just want to do coding like a dumb because I'm dumb. <laughs> okay. Am I a dumb? Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> so, so right now here I'm returning my college, college bean, uh, right? So right now to make this method, okay, uh, a bean. So what I can do over here, I just need to put the bean annotation here. That's it. Right now, you have created a method to expose the bean and this is a, another way to create a bean. That's it. Well done. You have created a method called college bean and this is going to give you back the college class object. Cheers. Great. So right now, as I said, in this method, this 
college bean the method name this one is going to be my bean id be sure about it okay so the method name is going to be the id of this particular bean so right now let's do one work uh, so here i do not have any annotation called add component so i'll go back to my client or java this is college bean right this is my id okay so here i got this id let me copy this again this is gonna be my bean id and let me come back over here let me replace this again just to make sure there is no typo okay and again this is a college class i'm getting back my college object and to test it out i have uh, created a very simple method called test which is present inside the college class uh, so once we get our college class object using that college class object we are calling this particular method uh, and that's what I'm going that's what I'm going to do over here as well, right? I got my college class object I'm calling this test method and let's run it and finger crossed and hopefully it is going to work and it worked Okay, so uh, You are getting your college class object here, which is created by spring and it is a sprinting testing this call method. What does it mean? <laughs> okay, let me go back testing this call method. Okay, what does it mean testing this Mm, uh, you know call this method testing um, testing this method okay that's that sounds fine <laughs> okay uh, so right now uh, okay everything looks good right so you know how to create a bean by using add bean uh, you know uh, annotation right right now if I'm going to remove this now what is going to happen if I'm going to remove this right so now if you, if you come back to over here uh, and if I'm going to run this particular you know class it is going to fail again it is going to say there is no such bean called college bean available so uh, you know you are asking for the college bean over here which is actually the method name but uh, over here I have commented out sorry over here I have commented out the add bean annotation so spring is not able to recognize the you know, college bean as the bean id right so make sure this is a normal method uh, so to make to uh, make it work like a bean you need to define this add bean annotation before this particular method and this is a method which is which is just simply um, a method we have created to expose our bean that means just to you know which is just returning our desired bean object i mean desired class object okay good so uh, don't go by my words you understand the concept okay good okay so now now everything is looking good so okay so this is looking good but right now can i give a different um, kind of uh, bean id to this particular method i think probably i can let me check this out uh, destroy method auto where name okay this is the name i think you can give multiple name to this particular bean okay <laughs> i'm going to tell you that later okay first of all let me give one particular name to this particular bin so i don't want to have this college bin i want to have something like um, call bin okay this is going to be the name of my bin right so right now if i'm going to go to my client or java if i'm going to run this application it's going to fail yep so it's right now it is not uh, recognizing the college bin because we have overridden that in the config file so let me take this and let me go to client or java and going to replace this as this and that's how if i'm going to run this okay so now this is working right so that's that's, that's how you have over, or you can override um uh, this bean name by putting uh, the name over here i think you can also give multiple name to this particular bean as well so for that i think you need to define it um, inside the you know call you braces and you can let's say call bean let's say another college bean um, another okay let me test this out with call bean first of all over here the name is call bean let me run this out uh, okay this is working right so this is my college object right and the testing this method that method is getting called properly so this this is working fine so let me copy uh, copy this as well let me go back to my client the java class uh, let me change this to this let's do control s Right now let's run it again okay this is also going to work and it's working right so you can also provide multiple alias name to a particular bean as well okay that's good so right now uh, let me remove all this stuff and let me go with the default name 
okay so this is going to be the method name right simple okay so okay one more thing i haven't told you that so let's say over here right now i have i'm doing everything with this um annotation stuff right okay so let me comment this out for a moment uh there we go okay so why i have commented it out so let's say in the college.java right now i want to define a bean by using at component annotation at uh, component annotation and uh, here i actually want to do the component scanning okay okay and one more thing i i just forgot to tell you okay for for this add bean annotation okay if you are if you are defining a bean by creating a method like this you do not need the this add component scan right I, i'll just show you that uh, forgive me for that okay i just i just skipped it okay no problem we'll be uh going way more detail uh, in, in the coming time so don't worry I, I do have a whole lot of time for you today so so right now what i'm going to do let's say i'm doing a component scan over here i'm scanning this base package this college and i'm putting this uh component at component symbol over here but i am not actually providing a bean id right if i'm providing a bean id a bean id over here or if i'm providing a bean name something xyz so that's fine okay i'm sorry it's not name okay if i'm providing a bean name of anything this is gonna be the id of this particular bean so call is this equal to new call is right so this is going to be my uh, bean id right so if i'll be coming to my client class and if i'm, if I'm putting this if i'm running this application it should run fine right because th that is my id but if I am not providing my ID, so what is going to happen? So right now, what is going to be the ID of this particular bean? Okay, so right now this is college class, right? So make sure if you are not providing any bean uh, name over here, by default, the name of the component is going to be same as the class name, but the first letter will be obviously a small letter, right? So uh, the meaning of that is, uh, so if I'm not providing anything, by default the thing will be just like this small c the name of the component is going to be this so so if i'm going to remove it let me copy this and if i'm going to remove this right now okay right now my component does not have any any bean id so right now it is going to have a default bean id which is same as the class name is you know this college so right now i'm going to go back to my um, client application and going to be paste um, my ID over here make sure that this is starting from a small letter right okay so right now if I'm going to run this particular application it is going to work fine as usual you got it okay so default bean ID okay default bean name if you're not providing it default name will be same as the class name cool easy okay Okay, so the next thing right now, I don't want the add component annotation. Let me remove it again. I don't want, uh, okay, I want to go in this way. Okay, okay. So if you are defining a bean, um, if you are defining a bean by using, uh, using this approach, by if you're writing a method to expose a bean by providing a add bean annotation, at that time, you do not need the component scan, right? You can remove this thing as well, right? You need only add configuration okay so right now let's just check it out right here you do not want this import as well so this import is specifically belongs to the component annotation let me re remove this as well so right now this is a very simple class right it does not have any kind of annotation so everything right now you are configuring inside the uh, inside the college config class right so here you do not need the component scanning okay so let me remove this import as well okay so you only need the add bin annotation and you need the add configuration annotation before your config class just to make spring know that this is a configuration class right so right now i remove the component scan annotation from here because we do not we are not using the component scanning and if i'm going to run this as well so okay no search bin definition why okay so this is college let's go to our mm, configuration class this is going to be our id control c and let me do a control v here control s and let me run it 
oh yeah that's going to work okay <laughs> so this is how you need to define a bean by using the at bean annotation okay this thing is also clear so right now okay but what if okay this is a very interesting thing what if if i have a dependency okay so let's say if i have a dependency over here let's say private uh what kind of dependency college has college should have a principal right every college should have a principal otherwise the student can do anything that they want right so <laughs> the college should have a principal right principal okay P R I N C I P L. Okay, so right now, uh, so I, I got a dependency over here. Let's say there is a class called principal. So let me uh, create a class. So right now, Eclipse is giving this error because we do not have a principal class. So we're going to say Eclipse that hey, create a class for us called principal because we want to create a dependency and we're going to learn the dependency injection using the config class using the add pin annotation okay that's good so let me create a class over here called principal and let's say in this principal let's create a simple method called public void uh, uh, principal uh, info okay let's say sys out hi i am your principal okay and we can copy this and going to paste it and going to say that my name is who's the principal name my name is James Bond okay that's a so cool right <laughs> so right now okay if uh, if in the college the principal will be James Bond it will be so much fun isn't it okay so <laughs> So let's say right now, uh, this uh, college right now does have a dependency called principal and we want to do the dependency injection by uh, inside this configuration file that we have created, right? So how to do the dependency injection? Let's, let's check that out. So first of all, let me generate the uh, getter and setter for that. Okay, so, so right now we, we want to do the dependency injection, right? So we could have do the dependency injection by using a setter or a constructor. Okay, first of all, Let's do with a constructor. So I'm going to go to source. Uh, let's go to constructor using fields. Okay, let's generate a constructor over here. And there you go. I don't want the super. Let me remove it. There you go. Okay. Looking good okay so what i did actually over here i just created a very simple constructor here for to inject this principal object to this right and inside this test method what we can do is we can call this um principal uh, class method called principal info right this is the one okay so right now uh, what is the value of this particular principal? Uh, so right now the value for this particular variable is null. Obviously this is null, right? So we need to inject a object like new principal. Okay. So once we provide an object to this particular variable just like this, then this is going to uh, run. Okay. And if we're not going to provide the object to this, then we are obviously going to get a null pointer exception because the value for this right now is null right so first of all let's do a constructor injection in in our uh, college config.java right right now you can see this particular uh, constructor right now it is giving me an error because inside the college class we do not have a default constructor right we have overridden this particular constructor and we do not provide any default constructor to this so we're getting an error but this doesn't matter because we are going to use this particular constructor of college class to inject the principal object to this okay so uh, first of all okay so right now how many object we need to create a look at this particular class we need to create the object for college we need to create the object for principal right we need to we need to deal with two objects over here so let's come back to over here we have already created the 
object for the college bean for the college we have already created the object there is some error but we are going to fix it okay so right now what i'm going to do over here i'm going to create a new method to expose the principal bean right so to expose uh, the principal object right let's create a method let's make it a public method and this particular method is going to give me uh, the principal object so principal let's say principal bin okay and here this particular method should return what let's say it should return uh, the new principal object okay new principal there you go right and right now we have created a method which is which is just going to give us the principal object back right and we want to make it bean uh, so if you want to make this as a bean then we need to use the add bean annotation we already know about it right okay so right now we have two bean over here but inside this college bean right there is a dependency this college has a dependency and dependency name is principal so we not only going to create the object for these we are also going to create the object for these and we are also going to inject that object the dependency object using the constructor we need to inject the object for principal um, you know to this right to this particular variable so to do that what i'm going to do right now so my principal bean is ready so here uh, this new college constructor this college constructor want what object this college constructor want what object this one this is wanting a principal object so we have already created a method and this particular method is actually giving us back a principal object so we can only need to call this particular method inside this constructor argument so what i'm going to do this is the method right so i'm going to copy this i'm going to paste it and let's call this method okay that's th that's what i wanted to do so here what i want to do actually i'm just calling the principal bean method uh, to uh, this college constructor right so this principal bean method does what it is giving us back the new principal object right so it's just similar to this Control P. It's just similar to this, right? So right now, uh, instead of this, I'm going to do command J. Okay, there you go. So we want to do it do it in this way. I'm just calling this particular method to this, and this particular method is actually giving me this object, right? So right now, it it got what the new principal object over here. So right now, this particular constructor get called, right? It got the principal object. It the new new principal come over here. And it is actually setting it to this. So the new principal come over here, right? Okay. Now uh, this is how the things went, right? So this is just to show you. Let me remove it again. Okay. And if this will be also initialized, this particular method will be successfully called, right? If it will be, uh, if the object will be not injected to this, we have already seen in the earlier cases, we'll be getting the null pointer exception. Right. So now let me go to my uh, client or Java. Right. Let's check it out. Let's let's check it is working or not. Okay. So there you go. <laughs> so hi, I'm your principal, and my name is James Bond. Okay. So that means that that means this particular uh, variable is getting the object of the principal. That means our dependency injection is happening, and uh, this particular method is getting called successfully right which is belongs to the principal class command click this method belongs to the principal class got it and um, this is this is the way we are defining a couple of bean over here inside our configuration class right there you go we're learning a whole lot of things we're doing good right i'm feeling really excited and i'm looking forward to do some more stuff today so do you have the energy and if not take a break have a cup of tea and you will be all good i know you are very keen to learn new things and we are going to learn few more new things today as well all right okay so okay so the next thing that i'm going to do right now is okay so here uh, in the in the in the college config okay in the uh, if you talk about this particular bean this college bean right so here we are actually injecting our bean by uh, our principal bean by using the setter injection what about a constructor injection right it's going to be pretty similar as this but 
okay let me tell you that also it's not going to take uh, more time so i'm going to comment uh, this constructor method and right now i'm going to generate the setter for this because i want to do a setter injection instead of a constructor injection so i want only the setter and i'll just hit okay so i got a setter method right now we are going to do the injection right uh, to this variable by using a setter instead of a constructor right so right now let's go to our colors config right now and let me save this particular file if i save this i'll get an error over here because right now uh, there is no constructor present over here which will take a principal object um, because we have commented out this particular constructor right now let's let me come back to here and what we are going to do we are not going to do it in this way instead i'm going to do what in this college class okay i have a setter method present right set principal and here i'm going to pass the principal object so this method is actually giving me back the principal object so let me copy this paste it over here and there we go okay so right now let me go back to my client.java class let me run this particular application and this is going to run fine and in this time this is using this particular setter right this out <laughs> um, using set this particular method set principal let me copy this set principal method okay control s let me come back to here sorry uh, inside the client.java let me run this again and we're getting the same output and in this time we're using a setter instead of a constructor when we are doing a setter injection that's good so we are learning a lot of things right so let me remove this import this this import is actually for the class path xml application context these days we are not using it <laughs> we are using annotation config application context okay so can you guys guess why i'm getting a warning over here in the in the, in the context i'm getting a warning right why because this context is not closed yet right so to close it i need to say context dot close okay i'll not get this close method i know because this context is a is belongs to this particular interface right and this interface does not have this particular method so let me typecast it to annotation config application context now i can do dot close oops okay let me wrap this out i'm sorry let me wrap this out and can i do it right now close yep okay so now you can see uh, the warning is gone from here or you can simply do this thing okay let's not do this downcasting let's not confuse you guys let me uh, just simply create the object like annotation config application context context equal to new annotation config application context right instead of the uh, interface reference let's take the class reference and if we are taking the class reference so we can directly say our class variable which is context this is my container variable dot close okay right so let me remove this application context also from here looking good so right now that warning gone right because i'm closing the container that's okay all right so so things are going good right now so the next thing that we're going to do is okay so guys this is what we know that how to do the dependency injection by using add bin annotation okay so you might be also getting uh, some some interfaces right let's say okay so let's do that thing as well so let's say you know, what if what kind of service my colleagues can provide the best service our college is providing is it is giving us the education which is so precious right so let's say right now i have uh, an interface called teacher and teacher okay so right now let's say this is the interface right let's create a new interface create an interface called teacher and let me hit finish and there you go okay so right now this is the interface and let's say teacher is basically going to do what 
he is going to teach right all the interface methods are public then i'll write void then i'll just define a method called teach okay okay so you know okay we are missing our teachers isn't it i i, I miss my teachers pretty much okay so right now we are going to have some implementation classes as well for this teacher right now let's say let me create a new implementation class called uh, uh, math teacher math teacher t-e-s-c-h-e-r okay and i need to add an interface over here let's say teacher interface okay let's say finish okay so i got a fully uh, you know uh, implemented class over here generated by eclipse okay so let me override my teach method over here because my math teacher is implements the teacher interface and inside the teacher interface this particular this method is present right so right now here let's say uh, but i hate math <laughs> so how many of you hate math let me know in the comment section because i hate math pretty much so then you might be wondering what i'm doing over here right <laughs> okay i cannot do anything else rather than you know doing coding i know a little bit of coding i'm i'm a little good in coding so i think i can only do this job and apart from this i don't know anything so so right now let's say uh hi i am your math teacher right uh and let's say this is out um let's say my name is Saurav right okay because I love Saurav Ganguly right so let's say my name is Saurav <laughs> uh okay so right now let's let's uh, let's go back to our college.java okay uh so right now uh, for this teacher let's generate a getter and setter let's generate only getter for this because we want to Sorry, let's generate only setter for this because we want to do a setter injection. So generate uh, the setter for this and I'll hit OK. There you go. And let me maximize it. OK, so so right now in my college, there is two dependency. One is principal, one is teacher, right? And for this teacher, I have written a setter uh, method to inject this teacher object to this, right? But remember, this teacher is what? This teacher is a interface, right? Okay, so right now, let's come back to here uh, and uh, inside this test method, let me, let me write uh, teacher dot uh, teach, okay? So because this teach method is present inside the interface, right? And based on our object, based on our runtime object, like let's say if I'm writing new, math teacher right math teacher is the implementation class for this particular interface so interface variable is equal to a new class name okay course java stuff so right now uh, let's say uh, okay so this thing we want to do it we want to configure it uh, from this particular class college config right we need to define another bean but this time make sure that this is a interface variable this is not a class variable this is a class variable right because this principal is a class right but if i'll come back to here okay and if i go into this teacher this teacher is an interface right so uh, the exact same thing we need to do inside our configuration file okay so now what i need to do let me uh, remove this because we want to do this thing from there okay so now let me remove this constructor this is just not looking good to me okay <laughs> let me remove it okay so right now let me go back to our uh, our college config java over here i need to define another bean okay for my teacher so let's say let me first declare a method public and this is going to return me the interface teacher okay teacher and let me give the bean name let's say this teacher is going to be my math teacher bean okay okay you can give any name you want okay right now what i need to do i need to return the teacher object right i need to do a t e s c h e r like this like this dude this is the interface variable this is the interface right 
for interface we cannot create object right so we need to do what we need to create the object for the implementation classes so who is the implementation class for teacher for teacher there is there any implementation class let me do right click quick type hierarchy okay this is the implementation class math teacher right so for this we have already given the bean name so what i'm going to do i'm not i'm going to return the math teacher where is that okay math teacher this is okay i'm going to say new math teacher okay so right now this is just something like teacher teacher equal to new math teacher right math teacher is the class teacher is the interface simple right so right now uh, this is going to give me back the teacher object so i'll come back to here uh, so i have already written a setter method over here inside this college class i have a set teacher method okay so let me call that particular method inside my college config the java so in my college there are two dependency first i have created my college object then i have set my principal dependency then i have to set college dot set teacher and let me pass my math teacher bean over here okay i just simply call this particular uh, setter method and i don't want to define it as a bean i want to expose this method uh, you know uh, to expose my bean i've written this method for that okay there you go i've defined a couple of be i think i've defined three beans over here right okay and this is our main class and here we're actually setting our dependencies right pretty clear right now let's go back to my uh go back to my where my client or java let me do what okay everything looks good over here let me just run this application and let's see our math teacher stuff is coming over here or not and there you go my name is saurabh okay and i'm your math teacher okay it's working fine and that's how you need to actually uh do uh need to create the bean for your interfaces right make sure that this teacher is your interface it's not a class simple done okay let me wrap wrap this thing up but i'm not going to stop over here i'm going to talk uh, about few other stuff right okay so this is looking good right now you know how to configure bean you know how to use add configuration add component add component scanning uh, add bean annotation okay looking good so right now uh right now let's do some other stuff here okay so right now let's say okay so how to okay right now we do not have any xml file right we are doing everything over here in 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 this college config or java right so now let's say okay this is pretty much enough we are getting everything okay let me okay uh, let me do one work let me comment this all these things out and let me go back to my previous approach okay everything commented out you already know how to do all this thing let me come back to my college.java and now i want to use my i want to go back to my component scanning and i want to do some more stuff i want to explore some more stuff right so that we can talk about some more annotations in spring are you getting bored am i boring am i talking too fast i do not know <laughs> so actually i was i was uh, i was in uh, i was in kind of in heavy pressure uh, but right now things are going well i'm in a vacation um, i do not have any pressure so i can talk as much as i want right as long as i, I i'll just make you bored today <laughs> so i'll do what i'll go back to my my college class okay so right now i want to you know define bean by using at component annotation so let's say at component here at component and uh, here let's say uh, let me give it a bean id uh, as a college let's not give any bean id because we know about default bean id right if i'm not writing any bean id over here then the by default the id will be college right as c, c small letter okay Control G. Okay, there you go. So right now, uh, let's let's activate the component scanning in 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 over here. Uh, college config class. Let's do at component scanning. At component scan. I'm sorry. At component scan. 
let's put the best packages over here and let's keep the packages let me maximize it okay right now my package is com dot selenium express dot uh, college so this is my package name right to make sure this is my package name okay my component scanning is activated right now so right now let me uh, okay now you have to tell me right so right now i have activated my component scan right so whenever spring is going to scan this particular package how many objects spring is going to create so in our call is we have written add component right so spring is going to create the object for college right but is that enough for us here we are dealing with so many objects in this call is we need the principal object as well in this call in this uh, uh, in this college we need also the object for the teacher right teacher is the interface but, but we want the object for the math teacher which is the implementation class uh, for the teacher interface right so here if i'm going to go back to my um you know client or java right now okay this is college bin let me give the bin name as this uh, let me go back to my client or java let me change it to this and i want to make it a small letter and there you go now if i'm going to run it is not going to run at all okay null pointer exception okay it is creating the college object because we have we have defined uh, the add bin annotation before the college but for this for this we have not defined any bin we have not defined add component annotation before them okay and inside uh, the college config also we have commented out everything right so it's not creating object for this object for this as well okay so right now what i'm going to do here i'm going to go to my principal class so this this is this is the object we we want the object for the principal class as well so we want spring to create the object for this so we will annotate it by using the add component annotation so right now spring is when spring is going to find whenever it is going to scan through the base package which is our college package so inside the college package inside this particular package whatever the class which class has the add component annotation before it, it is going to create the object for that. Right now, we are putting the add component annotation before the principal class. So for this class also, Spring is going to create the object. And also uh, in our college class, there is this teacher interface. And this teacher interface, if I am going to do what? Uh, quick type hierarchy. Okay, right now there is an implementation class called math teacher. For this class also, we need to write the component annotation because we want this object as well we want this object also because we want spring to create this particular object for math teacher and is also need to register that particular object in the i mean inside the application context which is our which is our what which is our container okay so right now let's do one thing let me come back to our uh, you know what uh, client.java okay let me run this application and we are going to get the same thing null pointer exception because right now okay spring is going to do what spring is creating the object for college okay for college it's got the add component annotation it is going to create the object for that for um, for math teacher it is going to get the add component annotation it is going to create the object for that okay it is going to create the object for the principal as well but it is only creating the object it is not injecting okay to inject what we need to inject we need at auto word annotation okay so what we can do at auto word do you remember at, at auto word or you have already forgotten if you have forgotten watch that okay i mean i have already uh, done a video for at, at auto word annotation could you please go and watch that okay uh, at auto word annotation okay so right now we have written the at auto word annotation over here okay so right now uh, for this principal okay spring is going to do what okay uh, for if i'm writing the at auto word annotation before the field then i do not need the setter method do you remember it okay for now let's not write the at auto word over here let me write it before the setter method okay this is for what this is for principal where is principal setter method here 
okay at at where so that spring is going to uh, you know find the object for the principal and it is going to inject the object to this and also we are going to write the at at where annotation before the teacher also right so at at where could be uh, could be used before the class and before the interface variable right or before the interface setter method as well okay so right now we are using add autoware to inject the object to this and to this so right now let me go back to my client or java and let me run this application and hopefully it is going to run and it is running fine but please do not forget about the auto wearing i'm not going to repeat the concept over here right don't be confused if you do not remember it please go and watch my previous video about auto wearing okay 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 good now, right now i know you remember it guys i know i have checked your assignment and you are doing really really well even more better than me whenever i was learning spring i was not that smart like you right um, I, i'm seriously saying this you are learning very well uh, congratulations I, i'm really proud of that okay so right now you know the next thing that i'm going to do is um, uh, okay the add auto where i'm writing over here okay guys can i move the add auto where to this level okay for the teacher i'm moving the add auto where before the field and for this also i'm going to move the add auto where before the field here and i do not need this header if i'm writing the auto where before the field i do not need the setter method right so if i'm going to run this application client or java it is going to it is going to work as expected i think you remember it right okay good so right now the next thing that i want let's say over here uh, i need uh, i have a string type variable let's say a private uh, string uh, okay another dependency let's say college name okay let's say college name okay right now this particular dependency i want to inject by using an annotation okay because right now i do not have any xml file right i am doing everything by using the annotation so the way i'm going to do it i'm going to do it by using the add value annotation right add value where is that add value okay there you go and here i'm going to put the college name uh, let's say the college name is selenium express selenium express i'm sorry for that noise my uh, the power actually is gone and scam back my ac got turned on i'm sorry if you are getting some annoying noise <laughs> okay but i'm feeling really good that i'm talking to you right now because for the last few days i was so busy i was not having enough time okay so this is the way that we are actually need to inject the value right and we understood in the last video uh, how to use the add value annotation and if i'm using the add value annotation before the field name i do not need a setter method also right okay so right now let me log this uh, college name also over here let's say sys out uh, let's say uh, my college name h okay let me maximize it okay my college name is uh, plus college name let me give some white space here to stretch out the things okay so to college name okay looking good i'm just logging this college name over here inside this test method right so right now let's go back so this is the add value annotation add value annotation is used to inject the value for the literals for the string for for the integer and for all the stops right okay so now let me go back to the client or java and over here i'm going to run this application and uh, okay so my college name is selenium express cool you are getting it you are getting it right so right now i don't want to use the things over here by hard coding in the last video we understood about the uh, property right how to how to load values from a properties file or a property file so i'm going to do what i'm going to create a new property file so i'm going to do what i'm going to do what i'm going to do a new and i'm going to go to other i'm going to go to file okay and i'm going to create a new file called let's say college dash info dot properties 
okay hopefully the spellings are correct properties and let's hit finish here and here let's say i am going to give my college name h let me maximize it let me give the college name as let's say college dot name equal to let's say selenium okay let's say dot selenium express dot selenium express okay right now this is this is how we need to define the name value pair this is the value this is the name pair right i need to copy the name i need to go back to my color java and over here rather hard coding the value i need to lower my dynamic value by putting a dollar symbol over here and going to paste the name over here okay now if i'm going to come back to uh, my client java and if i'm going to run this application i'm sure it is not going to run it is going to come like this so how to get the exact value for that so to get the exact value i need to define where actually my property file is present i told you in the last tutorial but but this time we do not have a uh, we do not have a configuration file but we have a configuration configuration class right we do not have a configuration xml file but we do we do have a config class and here we need to use the annotation called property uh, okay this this one property source and property sources if we have multiple property file then we can use property sources but here i have only one so i'm going to use this one so this one we'll be talking about that later right same as this so i'm going to use this one okay and here i'm going to define uh the factory the name okay let's define the name here so the name we're going to define like this property file is present inside the class path in the name of the property file so this is present inside the src inside the class path and the name of this property file is college college oops college uh, info dot properties okay there you go let me go back to my client.java okay let me run this particular program oops file not found okay Probably I have spelled that out wrong. I'm going to do what? I'm going to right click, go to source. Okay, sorry, go to rename. I'm going to copy this thing because I don't trust my spelling. <laughs> and I'm going to minimize it and uh, I'll go back to my college config. So here I'm going to change the name of the file. And obviously that was wrong. <laughs> so I'll go back to my client or Java. I'm going to minimize this as well okay now let me run this class okay those selenium express but why i'm getting it inside a double quote because i must have given double quote over here yep we do not want it this is not java right this is the property file okay so let me run it again yeah there you go the college name is those selenium express Got it? You got it? How to use property file? How to load value from the property file? And this time we are loading everything. We are giving the instruction inside the config file by, by providing this particular annotation called add property source. Looking good? Right? Okay. Okay. So right now let's learn about add uh, qualifier annotation. I know you already learned about it whenever we are talking about uh, at AutoWare, we also learned about at uh, qualifier annotation. But at that time, we are defining everything, uh, you know, inside the uh, configuration file, uh, which is our bins.xml, or which is our XML based uh, approach that we are following at the time. But right now, let's say uh, this particular interface teacher, right now, if I show the quick type hierarchy, it has only one implementation, right? So that's why. We're using at AutoWare and for that particular teacher interface or whatever the you know uh, the class implementation class that we have for this particular class you know the object got created because we use at component annotation before it and we're using at AutoWare annotation before the you know before this particular type to inject that particular object right uh, okay that's fine because we have only one implementation class right now but what if, if we have multiple implementation classes? 
For an example, right now, I'm going to copy this math teacher class and I'm going to paste it over here. And let's say right now, this is science teacher. Science teacher, right? And right now, let me maximize this science teacher class. Where is that? Science teacher Java. Let me open this class. Let me maximize. I'm sorry. Okay, maximize it. And let's say science teacher implements teacher and we have provided at component annotation before it. And let's say I am your science teacher. Okay. And my name is, let's say science teacher name is Dhoni because because Dhoni is also one of the greatest captain in Indian cricket team and we are talking about Saurav as our math teacher. Let's say Dhoni is our science teacher. <laughs> the next time if we have any implementation class, we can say Kapil Dev or Virat Kohli. Okay, so right now, let's say right now uh, we are doing auto ad over here. But right now, if we are going to see the hierarchy for this teacher, we can find there is two implementation. One is math teacher, one is science teacher. So right now, this is my science teacher class and also we have annotated it with add component. That means Spring is also going to create the object for this whenever it is going to do the component scanning, right? Because we are, it is going to find this add component annotation before this particular class called science teacher. Okay, so right now, what we are doing over here, we are doing at auto wire before it. That's fine. But if I'm going to run this particular application, do you think this particular object, it is going to insect it to this particular variable? It is going to be new math teacher or it is going to be new science teacher because there is two implementation, right? So which one is going to be happen, right? You are getting my point. So if you already understood my earlier videos in our in at auto wearing time, then you you are most probably predicting it that okay, right now we are going to get it. Uh, we are going to get it exception, right? Okay. So right now, if I'm going to my client or Java class, if I'm going to run this particular application, then okay, there you go. So if I'll go to the exact definition, it is going to say uh, okay expected a single matching bin okay where is that okay here we go expected a single matching bin but found two math teacher and science teacher so actually there are two implementation present uh, for the teacher right one is math teacher one is science teacher so which one you want to use you want to use the math teacher one or you want to use the science teacher one so in that particular case we need to use at qualifier annotation but before that Okay, you know about add qualifier annotation, I know. But before that, right, this annotation you do not know. Uh, probably I haven't told you yet. So if I'll go to this teacher, right now this teacher has two implementation, right click, quick type hierarchy, okay, it has two implementation. Let's say if I have two, three or 10 implementation, but I want one particular implementation to be used as a primary uh, injection, at that time what I can do, okay, let's say for this teacher, I want this math teacher to be injected, right? If I have multiple, you know, multiple implementation, I want one, I want to pick one particular implementation and I want to inject that, then I can use at primary, at primary annotation. Okay, this particular annotation, at primary. So right now, this doesn't matter how many implementation you have. You might have 20 implementation, but you are making this implementation as the primary okay that means right now if i go to my client or java and if i'm going to run this then my math teacher method will be get caught you can see this uh, okay there you go the math teacher will be get caught because that's the primary right so now let's say if you want to use the science teacher okay if, if you want to use this particular implementation class method or you want to use any of the other implementation class method at that time what you can do so we know about it right so we can use before this add qualifier annotation right add qualifier and over here you need to provide the bin id right now which particular bin you want to use you want to use the math teacher or you want to use the science teacher let me bring it to this place okay let me bring it to this place okay you want to use this or you want to use this 
Okay, let's say I want to use the science teacher, right? So for this, what is the bean ID? Same as the class name, right? Because we're not providing anything over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to paste it over here and I'm going to make this as small letter, right? And let me run my client application and I'm damn sure this time it is going to call the science teacher and saying, hi, I'm a science teacher and my name is Tony, right? Got it, how it works. Okay, don't be confused with the at primary. At primary is something to make it primary, okay? But if you have 100, uh, if you have 100, you know, implementation, you want to pick one, then you can use the at qualifier annotation. Is it clear? Even if, even if, if I'm going to comment, if I go to my math teacher, if I'm going to comment this at primary also, right? At that time also, right now we have two different implementation, math teacher and science teacher. But over here inside the college class, I'm using at qualifier as science teacher. I'm giving this ID, this bin ID to here. So if I'm going to run uh, my client or Java, it is going to obviously call the science teacher method because we are using this at qualifier annotation. Simple. Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, so, okay, one more thing. Okay, before I wrap up, right now I'm going to wrap up this particular session because there are also few annotations pending, but we'll be talking about it whenever I'll be completing the bean life cycle and uh, also the different scope of the bean, like single town prototype and all the stuff, right? Then we can talk about some more annotations. But before that, let's say if I'm not providing the value over here for this particular uh, college name, I'm not providing any value. So this college name will be null, right? So whenever I'm logging it out over here, this will be null, right? Because I'm commenting this out, right? So if I'll go to my client.java, if I'm going to running this application, uh, okay, this is coming as null. But I told you already, if I do not want this thing to be null, if this is null, I don't, I don't want my object to be created. I do not want my college object to be created. Then I can make it required, right? I can make it at required. But but I think at required is not allowed in this position. Let's check it out. At required, okay. I think it is not allowed. Yep. So for this, I think if I can use this thing over here then I can do what for this college name I'm going to generate the setter so source generate getters and setters I'm going to generate only the setters and I'm going to hit ok ok so here it is my setter I'm going to remove this required to before the setter ok there you go ok let me cut this thing and let me put this thing after this because this doesn't look good okay now it looks fine okay so right now this at required is present before this set college name right so if this is present right now so if i'm not putting any uh, value to this particular field then it is going to give me an exception that hey this is required you have to provide the value for this right so I can do what if I go to client.java, if I'm going to run this application, I should get an exception over here. Yep, there you go. So now it is saying property college name is required for the bean college. To, in order to create the college bean, you need, in order to create the college object, you have to give the value for college name, right? So I can do what? I can just uncomment it, okay? And right now, if I'm going to run my client application, it should run as expected, okay? Uh, error creating bean this 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 college name is required for this but I'm providing the college name probably is expecting to move it out to this place let's take this out now let me go to my client or Java and let me run this application and it should run right now yep there you go right so right now this particular value is coming from my property file whole lot of stuff today right I'm also tired of talking Actually, I can talk more also. <laughs> I talk too much. So right now, I am wrapping this session over here. Okay, if you have any question, any doubt, um, you can uh, comment that uh, below. And also, you can write a mail to me 
at selenemexperience at the rate gmail.com or you can also ping me in my Facebook page called Facebook slash Selenium Express. Okay, so I'll be I'll be uh, coming back with a new tutorial. Probably I'll be talking about uh, the different bean scope that we have, like single town prototype and all these things in the next video. And we'll be talking about some more annotations as well. So it's already a long session for you and for me as well. That's it for today's tutorial. Thank you very much. Have some sweets because it's Diwali time. And thank you very much for watching it. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and happy coding.